Hi everyone, this is Hibba from My Little Journal and today I'm excited to be on here to share some very exciting news. Um, if you've been around here for a while, you know a few months ago I switched to disc bound traveler's notebooks. So I cut down my traveler's notebooks, put them on discs and call it a day. <laughs> um, I did at some point decide I wanted a traveler's notebook cover for my disc bound traveler's notebook and noticed that there is no such thing in the market and I couldn't find the right size. I couldn't find just a traveler's notebook that would cover the discs and my pages. It was very difficult. The prices were would get so much higher if you uh, chose to add an extension to your traveler's notebook cover. So I decided to create my own. This has been in the works for a very long time and uh, it's been in the works for a while because I wanted it to be the exact same thing that was going through my head. And also at the same time, I wanted to make sure everything was working. The pages were easy to flip through. It was easy to put in and take out and you can grow within the cover. So I'm going to stop talking and share my peachy binders with you. So I have three different colors of these disc bound traveler's notebooks. You might say they look like regular traveler's notebooks, but they are not. I'm going to flip around my camera and share them with you and share with you why these are totally different than a regular traveler's notebook cover. And before I even start, I wanted to mention I am selling these on my Etsy shop, like again, three different colors. They Yes, they are all neutral and I decided to go neutral to make sure that I start simple. And if these do well, I will come back with some really fun, colorful colors. And I would love your suggestions for colorful colors. I'm not good with colorful colors. I do love color, but I'm not good with choosing for Traveler's Notebook covers. But anyways, these are disc bound traveler's notebooks. As you can see, I have three different sized discs in there. And this is part of why it took me a while to post these and start selling them and putting them on the market is because I wanted to make sure that I can grow within the cover. I know a lot of people don't want to buy multiple covers and some just want like two or one. And so you can kind of grow as your notebook grows as well. So anyways, let's get to it. I have a lot to share and I do want to mention that my peaches do get a discount code from my Etsy shop. If they purchase the peachy binders because again, my peaches actually came up with the name for these traveler's notebooks. So that's pretty exciting. And my peaches always get first dibs on everything. So if you want to become one of my members, it is linked in the description box or you can click the join button on my channel to be a part of my peaches. Again, they get discounts in my Etsy shop and also they get all the information that's happening with me and they had known about this uh, for a bit now. So anyways, let's get to it. I'm so excited. I'm gonna flip my camera around and share with you details of these traveler's notebooks. Okay, you guys, I'm so excited to be sharing with you my peachy binder. It is so beautiful. It's kind of surreal to be sharing my own product and promoting my own product. I'm always used to sharing other people's products, but I'm excited to be sharing my own. So again, these are the peachy binders. They are a disc bound traveler's notebook cover. I have three colors. This first one, it's a very dark gray and it's called cement and it is gorgeous. And these traveler's notebook covers are faux leather. So they are not real leather, but they're so smooth and beautiful. So this one's the cement. This lighter peachy binder, lighter brown, is called Peachy Pit. Just thought um, I would share that my peaches did name some of these colors in my binder as well. So that's pretty neat and fun. And this last one is a darker brown and I call this one Brownie. It is gorgeous. It has like a little bit of burgundy to it. It's just so, so pretty. I'm gonna set these two aside and I'm gonna share with you what you get with your disc bound traveler's notebook. So obviously you get the cover and with the cover, you get one inch discs. 
They're clear one inch discs and they are big enough and it gives you a lot of space to grow. I love the one inch size and that's why I decided to add those with the cover. So you get eight of those with your cover. And I wanted to show you how easy the system works. It basically has these little hinges and they have the mushroom punch. You get two at the top and two at the bottom. So it holds two of your discs in place. You also have that closure as well. And that's one of the reasons why we did not add these little punches or these like hinges all the way through. We wanted to make sure that the pages flip easily and we have a closure for the Traveler's Notebook cover. Now it's so easy to put in and take out. They basically snap out and don't worry about being harsh or gentle. They really hold up really, really well. Like I said earlier, I tried these for months. I was taking my discs in and out switching out my notebooks all the time to make sure that these will hold up and not break. They are hard plastic. Um, of course, don't be like stepping on them and stuff like that and pulling your discs out and stuff like that, but you just have to uh, make sure that you're not breaking them. But I was pretty aggressive with them and they held up really, really well. Now, as you can see, I pulled those out so easily and let's say I wanna pop them back in Again, look how chunky my traveler's notebook is. So those one inches work really well, even if you have like big chunky notebook and they basically snap right back in. And I love that. It's so easy to do. And um, I'm usually careful because of my pages, really not for the closures right here or these hinges. I'm just worried that I tear my pages. So that's why I'm usually careful with that, but it snaps back in so easily and I love it. It's so beautiful and soft and the inside is soft. I didn't add any pockets. I don't usually use traveler's notebooks with pockets, but if that's something you guys want me to add to these peachy binders, let me know. I can always do that in the future. Uh, like I said earlier, I will come back with some brighter colors but I thought neutral was the way to go. So in the end, when you purchase your peachy binder, you get the cover and the eight discs, one inch. Um, but I wanted to share with you what I did with the other two traveler's notebooks. So when we were creating these traveler's notebooks, I wanted them to be a little bit longer than your regular st standard traveler's notebook cover because I wanted to be able to add bigger rings and the pages not peep out from the side. So I tried my own discs. These are, I believe one and a half inches, if I'm not mistaken, I think so. And it fits so nicely, as you can see, it still works. You can grow with your cover. You can add bigger rings. Now, the bigger you go, the further out your pages are gonna stick out. And I'll share that with you in the lighter um, Traveler's Notebook. But this is the brownie color. And as you can see, you can still snap them out and snap them back in. It's very easy and simple and it holds up really well. And obviously you can flip through your Traveler's Notebook easily. I love it. It's just such a fun way to, to protect your Traveler's Notebooks and have them in a beautiful cover Again, I went bigger with the rings and it worked. And these are even bigger. And as you can see, my notebook's bigger and my discs are bigger. So my pages started to stick out, but I'm a-okay with that. Uh, I don't think I'll go any bigger than two inches. These are two inches and they're huge. And there was still a, some space on the side for me to grow, but I don't think I would go more than two inches on this. Um, and not because this would break or anything. It's just because then you'll have like a cover not even covering your pages. You just have to maneuver your notebook inside to get the cover to cover your pages. And it worked out perfectly. So if you're going bigger, if you just want one cover and keep growing within your cover and change up the disc sizes, you can do that with the peachy binders. And this is why I'm so excited about these and I wanted to create my own because I wanted to make sure 
that I had something for my own Disc Bound Traveler's Notebook. And again, it was missing from the crafting market. I know a lot of people work in discs, a lot of people work in traveler's notebooks. And so now we have some beautiful covers to add our traveler's notebooks in. But anyways, so these are the three colors that we have for the peachy binders. The dark gray, which is the cement, the dark brown, which is the brownie, and then the lighter brown, which is the peach pit. They're also beautiful and hopefully in the future I'll come back with some lighter, brighter colors uh, for our covers. But I did want to wrap this up and thank you all for supporting my channel and my Etsy shop. Uh, without you, I would have never been able to create my own products and share them and post them and sell them. It's just like an out of body experience. It's wild and I have all of you to thank for that and i also wanted to send out a special thank you to my peaches you guys are awesome thank you for the support the help you've given me throughout the years and i appreciate every single one so anyways you guys don't forget i will be linking everything in the description box for you i hope you enjoy your new peachy binders and i hope to start shipping these out very soon bye guys